What's going on everybody? This is ODC, that's me, and back with another action figure review. This is my review of the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Guardians of the Galaxy Drax the Destroyer wave. Um, well, not wave of Drax the Destroyer, but uh, you get my drift. Uh, it's the Guardians of the Galaxy wave nonetheless. Um, and uh, yeah, I picked this, picked this uh, pretty much most of the wave up at Target. Um, I believe Nova I picked up online, but he was also in the store, so he's not that hard to find, really. Uh, there was three of them in my store. Um, there was no Gamoras, which is really odd, but I'm guessing maybe that's going to be the uh, uh, piece that's going to be a little bit harder to find within the wave. But anyway, talking about Drax here, he, uh, it comes in your your Marvel legends infinite series display box pretty nice box i'm glad that they switched to these boxes they're much nicer uh you got a a uh, picture of dave batista on the side and the other because he plays drax in the in the uh the movie coming up next uh in about two months from now about a, no, about a month about a month a little bit over a month i should say uh anyway there is the picture of drax on the back uh, the rest of the figures in the wave, including the bath piece of Groot, which looks really great. I'm really excited to uh, finally get that piece. Uh, there's Star Lord, Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, Drax, um, Nova, and um, I guess you want to call it uh, Cosmic Iron Man. That's what I'm going to go with. Um, yeah. So I mean, not there's pretty much not much else to say. Pretty much not much else. Uh, that didn't sound right. There's not much else to say about tracks in the package. Uh, let's uh, take them out of the package, and I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, and we're back with Drax out of packaging, and let me just say this before I get into anything else. He was packaged horribly. Um, he was the, actually the only one in Target, so I really didn't have a choice. I kind of looked through, and there was only, um, I think, about, uh, I don't know, whoever opened up the the uh, <laughs> the uh, box. Um, apparently, uh, there was probably about, I would say, a set and a half there because there was a, a, couple, a few doubles of Star Lord. There was like three Star Lords. There was two Novas. Um, there was only one Drax, one Rocket Raccoon there, and no Gamora. So I don't, I don't know what happened there, but maybe they opened up two um, uh, sets and they just people just bought them. But anyway, he was packaged horribly in his packaging. His head was. Uh, tilted up so far that it was actually off the peg. Um, his arm right here has got some gapping issues, and you can see the uh, the inner peg. But I mean, not nothing crazy. But I'm just kind of pointing it out that it was he was not packaged too well. Um, so with that being said, he uh, comes with the lower torso of Groot. So there you go. There's a lower torso to go with the arm that Nova came with. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely this is a very well-sculpted figure. Let me just say off the bat, um, all of his tattoos are sculpted. These are not just painted lines here, which is, wow, just a huge, huge upgrade from the uh, the previous uh, Drax we got, the uh, more comic book accurate Drax. Um, I mean, this is hands down just... I think kicks the crap out of the previous Drax. Very, very nicely done. And he does have a nice likeness to uh, Dave Batista, the pro wrestler, if you're not familiar with who that is. It's a pretty decent, uh, decent job on that head sculpt. Very well done. Um, I like the green. I, I can see that the green is coming in a little bit lighter on camera, but it's a little bit darker of a green. Uh, but it does stand out nicely, I think. Um, everything is very well detailed on him. I d really don't have um, any issues with this figure. It's a very well done figure. And I feel like maybe a little bit underappreciated figure. Um, not to say that other reviewers are, are are saying this is a bad figure, but I just feel like, you know, Drax isn't probably one of the most sought-after characters out there. So I, I think this is a pleasant surprise by uh, Hasbro here to make this figure very well done. So with that being said, let me just back up a little bit here. Uh, as far as his articulation goes, 
Let me just get his knives out of there. Um, his head does move side to side and does look up very nicely and looks down. Great range of motion there. Oh, and we got some jab turkeys up in here. Some jab turkeys, okay. And his arm goes up about that far, goes down, can do a full 360 rotation. Um, he does have the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which work nicely. Um, he does have a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. So there you are. He does have a waist swivel. He's got an ab crunch, which crunches forward nicely and backwards nicely. And the continuation of his sculpted uh, tattoos are continuous on the back and the front. So there's no gapping problems there with his tattoos. Uh, like I said, he's got the waist swivel. He's got his nice T-joint hips, which we've all grown to love. And they go forward and out and back a little bit, little bit. But the, uh, the, the butt sculpting is... Uh, is hindering a little bit. Upper thigh swivel rotation. He's got uh, double jointed knees. Um, no boot swivel, uh, but he does have the nice ankle hinge, which goes up nicely and goes back. And he's got that nice ankle pivot. So you can really get this guy into some nice posing. And everything pretty much on him, besides this uh, bicep swivel uh, gapping issue that he was just packaged poorly with, um, everything else very fluid, very nice, smooth. I don't have any wiggling, no nothing. No uh, loose neck joint or syndrome or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but he also does have knife holders. And uh, instead of having them on his back like the comic book version did, he has them right on his boots, which actually I think is kind of a better, um, a much more reasonable place to put knives. I mean, if anything, you're going to put a knife, you're going to put it in your, your boot or um, uh, somewhere else, some sort of knife holder on your on your side here. I, I don't understand why they would ever put knives on your back sticking out like that. It just looks a little weird. Uh, but I think it's it, it makes more sense to have them in his boot. They're out of the way. They're not going to hurt you if you fall or anything like that. So um, nice design there. Um, like I said, all the sculpting on him, very well done. All these tattoos are sculpted. Just a uh, very well done figure. I would say so far, I would say Nova, then this guy, so far. Now I haven't gotten to the other figures yet, but uh, I think this, I really am liking this wave a lot. I, I think they did a very good job. I'm so excited for Guardians of the Galaxy movie. It's gonna be a lot of fun to watch, I think. I think it's gonna be a very good movie. Um, knock on wood. Or some, where some, there we go. <laughs> but uh, as you can see, all the sculpting continues throughout his boot. Just very well done. And he does have two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. If you can see him, there we go. Um, but yeah, everything is pretty much sculpted on this guy. I'm just going to continue to uh, get some close-up shots for you, everybody. Um... Yeah, I really do dig this figure a lot, and um, I think this is a very well done wave thus far. Uh, I've only can, like I said, I've only really um, reviewed two figures so far, but uh, let me get a close up of the uh, knives real quick. Very well sculpted knives, pretty cool, and they're pretty much the same. So I'm not gonna grab the other one. There's no, there's no point. It's just they're they're exactly the same. Um, but they do fit in his hands nicely, nice and snug. Um, you can put him in this uh, in forwards, or you can have him holding it, holding it like like so backwards. So either way you do it, he does hold them, grip them nice and tightly. It doesn't look uh, awkward or anything like that. And uh, yeah, very well done figure. Great articulation. Um, very fluid, nice. Um, just trying to get him into a crazy pose here. Um, very nice fluid movement between all of his um, articulated joints. Uh, like I said, no real big problems here with anything. Uh, good likeness to Dave Batista. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to give this figure two thumbs up. I would say that uh, this might be one of the highlights in the wave, to be honest with you. Um, 
So yeah, definitely two thumbs up. Go get them, and especially if you want to build Groot, you could. Uh, that's another reason as well. But you also get a great figure too. Uh, so definitely two thumbs up here. Check them out. Drax the Destroyer, and uh, this is actually the more dumbed down uh, version of Drax, the more recent version where they dumbed him down, but his original uh, look, he was much more powerful. He could shoot hand blasts, he had super strength, he could hit flight, he had, and then they kind of dumbed him down when they became a little bit more modern uh, with the Guardians of the Galaxy run. Uh, they really dumbed him down, they took away some of his powers, so he's, he's a lot depowered now than he used to be. He used to be very much more powerful. And if you haven't checked out a storyline with him in it, um, here's one just off the top of my head. You can check out the um, Infinity Gauntlet run. He was also featured in that. So if you want to check that out, you can as well. Um, but with that being said, that's pretty much it. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself here, recommend this figure. Uh, I really am liking this wave so far. Stay tuned for more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the flip side.